you know, the most impressive thing to me about my training school is, is, and I look at this as a lot of pride, you know, when Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair and beautiful Bobby Eaton, when they bring their sons to you and say, here, to me, that's the greatest compliment in the world, that they trust me with their sons and to be able to go out and be able to work them. And, you know, what's so amazing to me is uh, the old time, when I first started, you know, they'd give you a broom, simple broom, and say, go sweep. And you can tell more in that moment what a guy's going to be. And it happens to this day, many years later. I'll give these young kids right out of college a broom and say, sweep the ring, I'll be back. Nine times out of ten, when I come back, that, that broom is laying in the middle of the ring, and that guy's gone. So you know right then in about five seconds who's really going to make it. And my guys, I'm still very, very – I yell a lot, but I'll also hug them and tell them when they do good. The most impressive thing to me is, you know, when the Ted DiBiase and the Shawn Michaels watch my guys work it, and they – Tell them that they did a good job. That's the greatest thing in the world. Because we all watch matches and think that's the worst thing. And I've told my guys, I may be hard on you, but my friends and the guys I look up to are never going to look at you and say you don't know what you're doing. So, And we kind of joke with it now that, you know, when Vince was doing that, you know, kiss the butt club and stuff, and my guy said, listen, if Vince asked me to do that, so what? Let me tell you what George has had me do. You know, I've wrestled in mud fields, corn, you know, corn fields, uh, Walmart parking lots. Let me tell you, Vince, what George has made me do. So they kind of laugh at that. But that's what I try to teach them. You know, if you can't, if you finish your career, no matter how long, and you hadn't give back, that's what makes me so mad. You know, what's happened to our business is everybody's took from it for so long, and nobody gives nothing back. That's why there's not much left. But what good is it? You know, I think of that Bible verse, what good is it if a man, if you profit the whole world and you lose your soul, what good is it if you wrestle for 30 years and you don't give back? I see these grouchy old timers that are afraid to smile and they've had the greatest career in the world and they've never gave back, never gave back. I see guys now that won't even give an autograph away. They've been doing this longer than I have. And I sit back and say, what are you doing? You know, give a picture away. But something, maybe not that, 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 that simple, but that's what I teach my guys. If you can take a wrestling ring and put a smile on somebody's face, man, do it. I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, it's an unwritten language. I, you know, y'all know that. You, you talk wrestling. And I love it when people, nobody wants to admit being a wrestling fan until they, they want tickets. You know, nobody admits to being a WWE fan until they come to town. Then all of a sudden everybody wants tickets. So that's the one thing I try to teach the, my kids is you can be WWF champ, but if you don't give back, you know, John Cena, the most popular guy in the world, quick story and we'll end this thing is, my son, when he was a young man, wanted to meet John Cena. And we did a commercial with John Cena where they used my ring. I never met John Cena. I didn't know if he was a jerk, whatever. But don't be mean to my kid. So John Cena comes walking in, you know, and I'm thinking, first he had all these people around him. And I'm thinking, get away from him. Let me introduce my son to him. So I'm going up. I said, Lord, I don't care what he, how he treats me, but he's got to be nice to my son. I mean, you hear all this stuff about John Cena. And, folks, I'm going to tell you, guys, I took my son up there, and John Cena was the nicest guy I'd ever met in my life. So you hear, and he, my kid still talks about it. He's 10 years ago, and my kid still talks about that moment. As a matter of fact, I put it in my book, kids still can't believe you mean you met John Cena. So in that moment is what I'm saying. John Cena, he could have been a jerk. You know, he, my son, he don't even know him. But he took time, just him one-on-one, -on -one, to talk to my son. And I've never, ever forgot that. And I tell anybody, you know, you hear about all this stuff, John Cena is world champion, but the stuff he does behind the scenes uh, is just unbelievable. So he's giving back, and that's, what I, that's how you know, I would want, want people to remember me is, man, if you don't give back a little something, then why do it? Man, why do it?